Hello everybody, we are back here on Cabela's Outdoor Adventures 2010, and I have been eagerly awaiting to play this game again. It was an absolute blast on episode one, and from what I've seen, it looks like you guys enjoyed it quite a bit too, so let's get back into this. But before we do get back into it, I want to quickly say thank you guys for all of the crazy support recently. It's been absolutely insane. The amount of love that you guys have given the channel of recent has been crazy and I honestly can't thank you guys enough but before we start into the actual story missions consider liking the video it really does help the channel out quite a bit it helps push this video out to other potential new viewers and overall just helps the channel and the video do better so consider doing that if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button so you will never miss a future upload but with all that being said let's get straight into the story missions the first waypoint I sent to your GPS is a common drinking hole next to a waterfall. The second waypoint is on the edge of a dense stand of trees where I put down some scent lures after glassing a few high-scoring bucks. Get moving and find these spots. Alright, so I guess we're going to be going into uh, this area right in front of us around this water hole. It's sounding like that is where the next deer are going to be, so let's go check them out. Yeah, so it is that lake. Let's sneak up to it and we'll see what happens. so well over the noise of the waterfall. Use that to your advantage and stalk in closer for a shot. Alright, so he's wanting us to stalk up for this one. That's going to make this a little bit interesting. I'm not exactly sure where we're supposed to go, so I'm just going to kind of move up to the left here. Kind of use the cover to our advantage and hope that he doesn't spot us. Uh, from the sounds of it, though, this buck isn't too difficult to take down, so... We should be able to get up pretty close. It actually looks like we might have to go around the lake. So that's a little unfortunate, but should be okay. Oh, is he actually, he might be leaving. Uh, were we too slow? It's very possible that we were too slow. All right, so he's right there. Okay, we're actually close enough now, I think. I think this should be good enough for the mission. No way we're going to be able to get a shot there, though. That angle's not good. All right, right here. This is going to be the money shot. Well, not how I wanted to get that guy down, but... It worked in the end. I probably shouldn't have taken the first shot. It was a little bit of a strange angle, but we did get him down. So let's take a look at this guy. That's honestly a really good model for a whitetail. I really like the way this looks. I am very amazed at what they were able to do on a game that was made, well, pretty much 11 years ago. Now keep moving to the next waypoint. We just unlocked the Varmint version of the Remington, Se Remington 700, so not too bad. Find the scent area, so I'm guessing, yeah, it's this way, so let's head over here. But uh, as I was saying, this game's like 11 years old, even though it's Outdoor Adventures 2010, it was actually made in 2009, and honestly, for a game that old, it's got pretty good animal models, and overall, it's not too bad. Yeah, that is a beautiful looking buck. I am very impressed with the way they look. I don't remember them looking this good. Okay, there's one of the scent lures right there. Now, if I remember right, we just have to walk up to them. And, like, press E on them or something, and then... After we've collected them all, I think the animal should come in. Found one. Yep, there we go. So that's one trophy point awarded. And also with these trophy points, we want to collect as many of them as we can. 
because the trophy points are the way that you are able to make the bucks bigger in the trophy chase mode, which trophy chase mode is the one where you create your own buck. As he interrupts me. But as I was saying, the trophy points help you create bigger bucks in trophy chase where you uh, create your own trophy and hunt it. And that mode is a lot of fun and I can't wait to get to that, but we need to earn a lot more trophy points first. All right, so we gotta go to the shooting position, which is up there. I went ahead and lowered the audio a little bit because I feel like it was a little bit loud. I might need to do some more tweaks in the future. You guys let me know in the comments if I do need to tweak the audio more, but I think it's at a better spot than it was. I had the absolute worst time trying to figure out where I needed to go. It is so hard to not talk over because it comes in at such random times, but uh, we should have the buck coming in now. But as I was saying, it took me forever to get up here. I could not figure out how to, and I had to go over to this side and climb the hill. Tried to come in from a different angle and it just did not work. This him back there, there's a small buck, and that's a, that might be him. That might be the buck we're waiting for. Yeah, that might, it might not though. There might be a bigger one. We'll give it a couple seconds. Ah, uh, this guy's gotta be it actually. I feel like he has to be it. Now he's in a pretty bad spot. Okay, here he is. Let's take this guy out. There we go. We got him down. That was definitely the one that we needed. Beautiful. All right, let's go claim him. That is a solid looking whitetail. Good little five by five. So let's go ahead and grab him. It's time for some duck hunting. Come on over the lake. Duck hunting? Okay. I guess we're gonna go duck hunting for the first time. That's gonna be fun. And that is the end of that segment. Glad you made it. Ready for some duck hunting? Here are a couple of tips before you start shooting. See that flock of mallards flying over? You need to bring them into shotgun range. To do that, equip your duck call. That is a lot more ducks than I would uh, imagine in a flock. I take it they probably just come in very solid trails like this. And they probably just don't stop in general. So let's equip the duck call. Hit I and there it is. Once you've equipped an animal call, you can check its instructions at any time to see how to make the correct sound. Give it a try. All right. Left Alt to read the instructions. Oh, so it's a little more complicated than just calling. All right, so we did it on try two. No, we can't get the last one. Well, back to the duck call. Looks like only one broke. Oh, we got two actually. Let's take the left one first probably. And then get that one too. It's two ducks down. We have one tag left. So let's go ahead and call it in. This should be pretty quick. Yep, here we go. This should be the last one. Nice. Now what do you say about some fishing? Ooh, fishing already? I forgot that there was fishing in this game. Okay, so this is gonna be a lot of fun actually. So you ready for some fishing? Great. To find where the fish are hiding, you need to use your fish finder. The fish finder scans the water for fish. 
When it finds them, they'll appear on the fish finder screen. When you find a hot spot for fish, drop a buoy on the water to mark the spot. Let's go find the hot spot. All right then. WASD to drive the boat. Perfect. Says there's lots of fish around, but where? Oh. Oh yeah, there is. Nice job. You need to drive the boat carefully when you're looking for hot spots. Too fast, the boat's motor might scare off any fish. Now let's get fishing. You need to pick out a lure. All right, I to open the inventory. Nice choice. Now try to cast near the boot you placed in the water. Press and hold left mouse, move the mouse forward and back to set the strength of your swing and release to launch the lure. All right. And we just press and hold left mouse. And I'm assuming we'll have to do some kind of hook set. Hey, you got a bite. Try to hook him. Hook it. Hey, you got a bite. When reeling in a fish, look at the line's tension on your reel handle. Reel in only when the tension is low. You'll see the color change to red if there's too much tension. You don't want to reel in too fast and lose the fish. All right, so I guess that was just like the tutorial section, and now we can actually catch a fish. Hook him. Oh, it uh, I guess right clicking actually cuts the line. I don't know. Every time I've right clicked, something happens. I expected it to like move the rod, but I guess not. Oh, that caught immediately. There we go. So we got a fish. This is the first one we've caught. Notice that the fish you caught was added to your live well. You need to get back to the dock with your catch that's in the live well. All right, let's see your stuff. Head out and catch some fish. All right, so let's get some more fish, I guess. So I don't have any more buoys, I don't think. So we are going to have to kind of just go for it. So I don't know if you can catch them away from buoys. I'm assuming you can. So let's try this. Should be good right there, I'd imagine. Hook it. Oh, yep. There we go. There's a fish. Going to the red. We got to be careful not to break it off. Should be in. Yeah. There we go. That is a white bass again. Oh, wait. Do we have to get three from the dock or... Oh no, we have one in the boat and none at the dock. Okay, I get what it means now. So we have to actually take them to the dock before it'll count towards our total. So it's good to know. See what we can get now. Hook em. There's another one already. These guys are just coming in like crazy. They're biting really fast. And there we go, fish number two. That looks pretty small. 2.58, it's about the same size as the last one, maybe even a little bit bigger, I think. See if we can get this last one. Hook em. Oh, there we go. Well, that one didn't fight hardly at all, so this can't be that big. Yeah, it's the smallest one yet, but... That is the third one, so let's head back to the dock, I guess. <laughs> All right. We got six trophy points for that. Nice. That is pretty awesome. So even the fishing gives you points. All right, so now we're crappie fishing. We need one of five pounds. Oh, wow. We have to get one heavier than five pounds. That's... Not going to be easy. So I guess we'll fish here. This looks move like it is a hot spot. Uh, move away from the buoy. Okay, I guess we got to be a little bit further away. Which would make sense, I mean. I guess in real life you wouldn't be fishing that close. That is perfect right there. I'm really happy with where that landed. Hook 
There we go, we got a crappie on. Looks like a pretty decent sized one too. It is a little unrealistic for like a five pound crappie to be the goal, but I mean, that is kind of how the Cabela's and Rapala games have always been. It's a little on the extreme. Oh, exactly six pounds. Okay, so we got lucky on that. I don't remember it being that easy to get a six pounder, so pretty lucky that we got it on the first fish. Nice, six more trophy points. Fantastic. That is a good looking buck right there. I'm guessing we get to take that guy out. You're near the spot where I saw two bucks. Yep, right there. I'm nearby. Found some very interesting tracks, but more on that later. On two bucks, okay. Alright, so we gotta go to the fallen tree up there. That shouldn't be too hard. They're coming through down below. Get ready. Oh, they are? Already? Must be right here. It's gotta be this area. We got one. Still have some tags to fill. Try another sh Okay, so that actually hit him, I think. But there's no way we're gonna be able to actually get that guy, I don't think. And I'm stuck now, that's not good. I don't know how we're gonna get to the second one. Oh wow, we actually have to kill both of them. We actually have to kill both of them before they get away. That's actually gonna be kind of difficult on here, but I think we should be able to do it. We just gotta be quicker. Yeah, we gotta be way quicker. I'm gonna move all the way over to the right here. And try to uh oh there we go we got the first shot off quick on the smaller of the two bucks and run 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 Let's see if we can do anything here really don't think we can from right here Wondering how we get this second buck down. Looking like we maybe run around. Yeah, this is definitely what we have to do. Yeah, because they're calm now. Okay, so we can take the shot on him now. Turn around. Gotta get our breath back. No way I can hit it like that. It's perfect now. There we go. We got both of them down. Nice. So, took a little bit more than I expected it to, but I like that. I like that there's a little bit of a challenge to it. You have to kind of figure out what you need to do in each scenario. That is a solid buck for sure. What a beauty. Not bad at all. So we got one more to claim, and then this should be the end of that mission. Remember those tracks I told you about earlier? I think they were left by a really big buck. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for a trophy whitetail. So let's go track him down. Okay. So it looks like next time we are going to be going after a trophy whitetail. So I think we're going to go ahead and end it there. And in the next episode, we're going to be going after the trophy whitetail. So you guys won't want to miss that one. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you are enjoying the content, hit that like button because it really does help me out. Helps push my videos out to potential new viewers and overall just helps me do what I am doing right now. It makes it so I can continue to do this. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching, 
and I hope you all have a fantastic day, but I will see you in the next one. Peace. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.